Explain oversampling. Mm -hmm. This question comes from Simon in Hong Kong. And Simon writes, hey Paul, in the 1990s, when the CD had been out for about a decade, there was a technology called oversampling, like four times oversampling or eight times oversampling. Does this improve the sound quality anyhow? Thanks a lot for your expertise. You know, these questions are tough because they're, they're, they're kind of complicated. For, for example, hey Google, explain digital oversampling. According to Wikipedia, the term oversampling is also used to denote a process used in the reconstruction phase of digital to analog conversion in which an intermediate high sampling rate is used between the digital input and the analog output. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And you know, you see the problem. You look this stuff up and you get these explanations that really don't tell you diddly squat, right? I'm going to try and show you what it means in a practical sense using something that, that uh, is probably a little bit easier to understand, which is interpolation. And there's a couple of things going on. So first off, a, a digital filter is a way to get the kind of frequency response that we're looking for without using an analog filter. So we know that an analog filter, a very steep analog or any kind of analog filter, is a series of capacitors, coils, resistors, etc. And in the very early days of CDs, we used what we called, or they used, I never did, <laughs> they used what we called gr uh, brick wall filters. And the, the problem is you, you go up to 44.1 and then uh, the, you, you have to get out by twice that. So anything above that starts aliasing, starts causing distortion that you don't want. So you need to be out of there really quick. And so they would have these filters that would go right up to, what is it, uh, I don't remember exactly the frequency, but just above 20 kilohertz, you had to drop that sucker off like really quick because in order to get 20 kilohertz out you have to sample to twice the the highest level you're going to have which is how we got 44.1 I don't know how the point one came but anyway so we'd have these steep brick wall filters then we started saying well that is causing tremendous phase shift that we can hear and screwing up all the highs in digital so then we started having digital filters, which were a little bit more gentle, and then we started this thing called oversampling, to where if, since we only have X amount of information, if we start sampling at higher frequencies, like 88 kilohertz, 176, 192, then the filtering can be gentler. You don't have to get out quite as quick if you do it at a higher sample rate. And that's essentially what was happening, is they would have these digital filters, they would raise the sampling frequency of the signal. There's no more information, but they would raise it up so that you could run it through a gentler filter and then take it back down. But I want to show you something. I hope that sort of makes sense, maybe more than Mrs. Mrs. Google. <laughs> um, one of the things that people get confused about is what we call interpolation. and this has a little bit to do with this very subject. And I just want to show you real quick. And, and with apologies to Ohm's Law listeners, I'm going to do my best to try and talk you through it and you'll see it on the screen. So normally, uh, we'll do a very crude representation of a sine wave and we'll do it in the classic steps. So what I'm drawing here is a upside down C shape, kind of a, a, a just picture a C on its side not upside down, sorry. Just turn, turn a C uh, halfway or a bowl, picture a bowl turned, turned on its open surface and you've got this, this loop here. And now I'm gonna represent that with steps. And each of these steps very crudely, just for demonstration purposes, is showing you the various voltage steps to make up this sine wave. And we'll, we'll draw the actual shape we want here. But each of these steps is gonna give you this shape. When we oversample, when we interpolate, when we add 
information to this equation. What we can do is we can guess where the next step could be. So for example, if I wanted to add another finer step, I know that this step is, in this instance, is obviously going to be here. It keeps rising until it reaches the top and then goes back down. So if I start adding intermediate steps and they get finer and finer, eventually what I wind up with is very finely gradated steps that we have guessed at because we can predict where this is going or what it's going to do. And that's the basis of what's called interpolation. And it is kind of how you get that extra information in oversampling. But to answer Simon's question specifically, no, there is no more real information added with oversampling. It just sounds better because we're able to use a less steep filter to get the same thing that we wound up with and tried to get with the really crude brick wall filtering. Hope that helps. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.